Bonjour, mes amis. Comment ça va? Oh, that's a new one. Comment ça va? Means, how are you doing? <laughs> so it's bonjour, mes amis. Comment ça va? And, and of course, you already know derrière, so you are you are learning French. <laughs> I have to apologize for the uh, cutoff on my last video. Um, you should know by now that I'm learning, and I didn't realize that my memory card was filled. So I now know another way to to uh, upload my my videos without using the memory card. So I do apologize for that, but you are at Daring to Dare, Chapter 2, Keeping Up with Tish, and we are on Part 5. You know, I might have mentioned before uh, about making clothes. I made a lot of clothes. I learned knitting. I was started to make dresses, knitted dresses, sweaters, scarves. I mean, I totally outfitted myself, except for pants. I couldn't make the jeans of the day. So I remember I had one pair of pants that I wore. Oh, I don't know what grade that was. I think it was my junior, junior year. One pair of pants that I owned, and that had a broken zipper. And that's what I wore to school. Do you think my mother would have bought another, at least one more pair of pants knowing that the zipper was broken? Nope. I was working, I was babysitting, so I needed to, you know, use my money to buy my clothes. So, and that's how it went for a while, but I eventually did buy myself some more slacks, but pff, unbelievable. You know, at the time too, I was interested in food and I started assembling recipes and I thought, oh, geez, I can, you know, start cooking, learn how to cook. Because I, I really wanted to learn how to cook. Well, this one day, <clears throat> I asked my mother, I said, I want to make a cake. And she had already bought the ingredients for me. And there she was, watching every step I made. If I made a little drip, she was hovering over me to wipe it up. She made it such a nightmare for me. I can't tell you what a nightmare it was making that cake. I don't even know how it got in the oven. Because she was surrounding me. She was all over me. She was closing drawers if I left the drawer open, getting out a spatula or whatever. And she slammed the drawer, letting me know that, oh, geez. Well, it was my first time cooking. Yeah, I guess I was making a little bit of a mess, but she made such a fuss that I sworn to Claire right then and there, I would never cook again at my mother's house. So as it was, um, I didn't even know how to cook when I got married. <laughs> my husband had to teach me. I didn't know, I didn't know a thing about it because my mother would not let me experiment. She just would not let me experiment. You know, I said before that mom was becoming a recluse. Well, mom was a recluse. I mean, you could not get her out of the house. Neither she nor my father went to any of my activities. And I had a lot of things going on. Um, you know, I had meets, I had gymnastic meets, I had track and field meets. They never arrived. Uh, I did some special things in school and I got noted for them and had a little ceremony. Didn't seem fit, you know, to come watch me get my accomplishments. And as a result too, I mean, we never went anywhere. They never took me to a museum. No amusement park. I never went to the circus anymore. My pop-up took me to the circus and he, he took me to horseback riding lessons, as you know, but do you think my parents would pick me, pick that up? Nothing. I fell flat as far as that was concerned. Absolutely, absolutely flat. So when I turned 16 and I learned how to drive, Oh my gosh, what a sense of freedom. I mean, 
I could get out of the house and go places finally. It was great. <laughs> that feeling was priceless, I'm going to tell you. It was priceless. Anyway, as I said, mom was a recluse. And thinking back, her mother's brother was also a recluse. Only his recluseness was, he didn't get out of the house, but he didn't function outside of the house at all. In other words, my mother would go to the food store. Uncle Johnny wouldn't be going to a food store. He had everything delivered. He didn't, for years, I don't know how many, I mean, it was years, five or six years. He never put trash out. It was like he didn't even live in that house. Um, I can tell you a little later about the experience that we had cleaning out his house after he, he died, but uh, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So there is a string of recklessness, recluseness in our family. I haven't seen it since my mother, but I hope, I hope never to see it because it's not a pretty sight really. Um, and I found out my, from my brother that my mother, again, poured red hot pepper, only not down my throat, down my sister's throat. Apparently my brother had told on Anna Marie, my sister, and um, true to form, what does Elmira do? She gets out the red hot pepper and pours it down her throat, and I'm sure Anna Marie's experience was much like mine. And I know my brother said he was so sorry that he told on her and he said the sight was unbearable to watch. He felt so bad watching Anna Marie suffer. So, you know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that till years later. I would have told my father. I would have told him because she told him that she would never do that again. I heard her say that and there she was. Talk about brutality. I mean, she could have killed her just like she could have killed me. But no, that wasn't important. I can't imagine what Anne Marie would have said to warrant that. I mean, we didn't know any curse words. It had to be a no. I, we didn't know anything else. Because no, nothing like that was spoken in the house. So, um... You know, if you're enjoying my story, please um, let me know. Uh, remember, my story is about survival, perseverance, and writing things that are wrong. You're going to see how it, when I get a little older, I stand up for myself. And I fight for what's right. I don't care who I'm fighting. I fight. For what is right not only for me but for anybody else that I know that's getting a bad shake in life so please um, support me in my talking book let me know um, subscribe to my channel I would love to see a favorite uh, thumbs up would be great too <laughs> so until we meet again au revoir mes amis I'll see you on chap, uh, part six of Daring to Dare. Take care.